So I have the best job in the world and that's because I get to talk to people about stem cells every day. I talk to physicians about stem cells and when people on a plane meet me and they find out what I do, they talk to me about stem cells and they ask me all of these questions including, you know, what is what are stem cells and how is it that there are stem cells in the adult human body and that's one of my favorite misconceptions to dispel because the fact of the matter is there are stem cells all over the adult human body. So because the cells are used in so many different applications, whenever I teach this, people learn about new applications of these cells. And so if I'm working with a plastic surgeon and he sees on here that orthopedic surgeons are using stem cells for cartilage defects, he kind of goes, wait a second. You kind of make it seem like these cells can be used for anything and that doesn't really make sense to me. It's like you're saying this is perfect for all conditions. And that's not what I'm saying. They're not perfect for all conditions and they certainly haven't been used for all conditions. But the fact of the matter is anything that has to do with connective tissue, even though it seems like plastics and orthopedics and pain are really different, a lot of times they have the same root cause and that is connective tissue or in some cases inflammation, and those happen to both be places that mesenchymal stem cells can be incredibly useful. So how is it that this one cell type can do so many different things in these seemingly different areas of medicine? It comes down to the unique properties of these cells. So for example, these are the four specific properties of mesenchymal stem cells that make them so useful in all of these different applications. I get a million questions about this first one, the anti-inflammatory property, from pain physicians, from orthopedic physicians, from sports medicine guys, and it's kind of interesting because I think we all, even people who are not in the medical field, we're familiar with the idea that inflammation can be bad because everybody has seen some instance where somebody is told to ice an injury and we know people that have gotten cortisone shots or you've seen something in a movie where someone gets a cortisone shot and there's always this tension around getting a cortisone shot and that's because even though cortisone can really powerfully knock down inflammation it can also cause joint damage and so when people use it they're kind of choosing immediate pain relief over the long-term longevity of the joint and that's one of the beautiful things about these adult stem cells is that you don't have to make that choice. You don't have to trade the life of your joint for immediate pain relief because mesenchymal stem cells are anti-inflammatory. They can go into that environment, sense what's going on, and they can use the inflammation to accomplish something good instead of letting it just hang out, and cause pain and swelling and further damage. So there are three other properties of these stem cells that make them really, really cool and useful. This one right here, it's a big word, anti-apoptotic. A lot of people don't know that the cells in your body can respond to temporary environmental changes by hitting a self-destruct switch. And if you've ever seen a movie where people hit a self-destruct switch, they can't undo it. The cells don't know how to undo that even though those changes can be temporary. But mesenchymal stem cells do. So they can come in and they're like the little suicide counselors of your body and they can go into that situation and flip the switch and move those cells back into a healthy state of existence. This third property here, the antimicrobial property, I get a lot of people who do surgery that are really, really excited about it because infection is a real problem. And the fact that you can put an active agent into the system like a mesenchymal stem cell that is environmentally responsive it senses microbes and it secretes proteins that literally kill those microbes. So you can feel really good about the choice to use adult stem cells because they are actively helping to protect against infection in addition to all of the other things that they do. So the last property that I always tell people, this is really boring now that you've learned all the other things about these cells, is that they're regenerative. Mesenchymal stem cells are your body's source for connective tissue. They are the natural reservoir of these types of tissues. Cartilage, muscle, fat tissue, all of these things come from mesenchymal stem cells, bone. And that kind of begs the question, if we have these cells, then why is it that as we get older, 
we don't heal as well? Why do these bones and you know why do our joints have trouble as we get older? And the fact is that as you get older, your body isn't growing like it was when you were a kid. And so your body thinks it doesn't need as many of those stem cells. So when you have injury or deterioration, the signal that gets sent to draw those cells to come and create a healing event has to travel further and it gets weaker by the time it gets to where the cells are and then there are less cells there to respond. So what I get to teach people how to do is go to the source of the cells and take them out and put them exactly where they're supposed to go. So you take the shortcut that your body has kind of forgotten how to do. And that's the reason why people ask me, well, I have this option of surgery or I can try stem cells. And I almost always tell them if it's an option to try the stem cells first, why wouldn't you try the stem cells first? Because that's how your body naturally heals and there's literally nothing that heals better than the human body. So why would you go with plastic and metal when you can go with this biologically active cell source that comes from your own body? I would definitely pick that.